we're talking about is the idea that uh, that's being bandied about that yoga could be an Olympic sport. And you know, and until I started looking into this, I didn't know that there was actually a, such a thing as competitive yoga, but apparently it is. Uh, what when, when you first heard of this, what did you think? Oh, my knee jerk is away. <laughs> Because, in fact, I teach in my classes that it's not about competition. Mm -hmm. It's about honoring your body. It's about finding your own space and not about pushing. Now, having said all that, I fully recognize that yoga is beautiful. I mean, the poses, the asanas, the postures, ashtanga, people fly through the air. It's gymnastics. But there are two things that we really need to decouple that. Because the whole notion, the ancient yogi, the reason the ancient yogis even did any type of a physical posture was so they could sit in a strong, upright position mm -hmm. and meditate. It wasn't about the physical practice. So we Westerners have really kind of bastardized this whole thing, thinking that that's yoga. When in fact, that is just a very, very Stunning that Westerners position. would do that. Yeah, that's a price of price, yeah. <laughs> no, but physically, I mean, it is a beautiful workout. I mean, I'm stronger now than I've ever been. But that's not, that's not the goal. That's not the end game here. Mm -hmm. So I just fear that if we actually make a competitive sport out of it, that people are going to get totally twisted as to what yoga is all about. Uh, so that, call that, it gymnastics, but call it maybe a form, put it under that, but but don't integrate the two here. Well, when I, I was reading the description of what the, the competition, if you will, is, at least at the national level, it's uh, they have a series of compulsory poses, mm -hmm. and I guess the participants get to pick a couple of poses of their choosing, and they're judged, I suppose, on how well they sure. execute these poses. Right? It's an exactly. Well, somebody compared right. it to bodybuilding or, yeah, or yeah, exactly. the same thing. Yeah. Exactly. So it's not yoga. But, but again, it's, it's the yoga postures that are being used competitively. So now, again, I'm very biased, so I know you'll probably be able to find someone else that will give you a flip side of this. But. Well, I guess the, the one positive, usually when the Olympics come around, sports that are part of the Olympics that don't generally get a lot of attention, uh, except for every four years. Well, we still bring controversy. People will talk about it, so they'll be aware of this that we didn't have before. So that's, that's an excellent point. Mm -hmm. So I'll give it that. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, I, I read a comment uh, a lady wrote in the well, column in the Wall Street Journal uh, about this idea and how these days, at least where she lives in New York, it's easier to find a yoga class than it is a hair salon <laughs> because because yoga has, has already seen somewhat of an explosion, don't oh, you think? Has. Oh, absolutely. People are, because they truly raise, it changes the neurology of our brain. It's so much more than the physical practice. And people start to find that peace and that, that inner satisfaction that we're all looking for through mm -hmm. the practice. Okay. It's, it's a wonderful gift.